Next.js offers a fantastic image component, but we quite often don't use its full potential. So let's change that in this video. Hey, I'm Adam from Prismic. Prismic is a headless web cell builder, which enables you to draft performance at scale, launch with a strong brand and build sites that keep getting better. By the end of this video, you will learn how to use the image component effectively and how to optimize images. We will also learn what Prismic, with the help of ImageX, has to offer so you can easily use the image component. First, we cannot use an image component without the actual image file. Let's use a local file. We should put images in the public folder, which is a default location for static assets. Placing it there makes it publicly accessible and images can be directly linked or referenced in your Next.js website. Since this is a React component, first we need to import it to the file where we plan to use it. Now we're ready to use it and we can create a self-closing tag to do that. Now we can add the first prop to our image component, which is SRC. Since our image is in the public folder, all we need to do is to add slash and the name of our file. Now, if we start the local server, we can see an error. That's because some of the props are required when using an image component. Let's follow the Next.js guidance and fix that. Width and height are required when using an image component, so let's specify it. As values, we must put numbers, which represent a rendered width and height and pixels. So we set the dimensions for the image using separated width and height props. And also, starting from Next.js 13, we need to specify the alt text for our image, which completes the list of required props. Even though some props are required, those could be provided automatically for statically imported images. So if we import the image, all we need to do is to update the value we provide for the SRC prop and we need to specify the alt text. Everything else is provided automatically for us. In the same way we import components in React, we import the image file from the public folder and we can use the imported file as a value for the SRC prop. And now is a good moment to introduce one more prop of the image component. Next.js automatically provides height and width and also blur data URL prop. The data URL is used as a placeholder before the image fully loads. So we need to add a placeholder prop to see it in action. As a value, we put an effect we want to have while the image is loading. These are some great benefits you get while working with local images. It's important to mention that when using remote images, you don't get the benefit of the automatically provided values. So all of the values should be provided manually. Since we started to talk about remote images, let's see how you can actually use those. Let's replace our local image with the remote one. You can use resources like Unsplash, which I will use in this video. Once you find the image you like, copy the URL and paste it into the SRC prop. If you remember, width and height are required props, but here is a cool trick. We can use the fill prop, which accepts the boolean value, and two things happen. First of all, we don't need to specify width and height manually, and the second thing is that our image fill the parent element, which is div with the class name center in our case. We can see that we received an error that indicates that the host name is not configured. Next.js allows you to configure a host from where you can serve images. In our Next.js config file, we can add an object called images, and inside this object, we add an array called remote patterns. So let's create an entry with a protocol and a host name. The protocol will be HTTPS. And the host name is images.unsplash.com. And now we can see that the error is gone and everything is functioning as expected. So in this example, we check if the SRC value starts with the images.unsplash.com and any unmatched value will respond with the error 400, which is bad request. Since this is an array, you can easily specify multiple patterns and make sure you're shipping a secure website.
Even though storing images locally is the fastest and most straightforward way, you won't be able to do that all the time. In some projects, you must use account and management system so your non-technical team members can add, change or remove images. The good news is that the Next.js image component allows you to work with images from the account and management system without any stress. When working with Prismic, we provide a Prismic-specific wrapper for the image component. The Prismic image component is a wrapper for the next image, making it really easy to render optimized images in a bulletproof performant way. Let's look at the Prismic starter, which you can get by clicking the link in the description. Here is the code of the starter, and let's add an image directly to the page using the Prismic next image component. To use the Prismic component, first we need to import it. And now all we need to do is to pass the image from Prismic to the field prop. We use the field prop the same way as the SRC prop for the Next.js component. And now we can add sizes, which is a prop from the Next.js image component since the Prismic component is a wrapper for it. And finally, I can add some Tailwind styles using the class name prop. This way you'll get optimized images on your website without any additional work required thanks to our Imagex integration in Prismic. To be more specific, with the field prop we automatically provide the URL value and the dimensions of the image. As I mentioned before, we're using Imagex to serve all of our images, and we can use the Imagex params prop to apply things like blurring, cropping or saturation. To understand all of the aspects of the workflow with images in a Prismic project, I recommend you to check the documentation and you can find a link in the description down below. And there we have it. We saw the next image component in action. We also explored what the required props are, so you can work with images without any interruptions. And last but not least, we saw what Prismic has to offer to make this experience super simple and quick. I really encourage you to try Prismic and see how it can improve your development flow. If you like this video, consider giving it a like, subscribe to the channel, and tell us in the comments what else do you want us to cover in the future videos. Thank you so much for watching, and see you in the next one.